Celestia is a very base layer, layer one, for you to plug in your blockchain applications into. So basically, it is providing you data availability layer and consensus. However, the execution layer is on you. So basically, developers, instead of thinking about propping up and making their whole own blockchain, they can use a Celestia network for consensus and data availability. And for themselves, they can just focus on the execution layer and just need to have a part that connects to the Celestia nodes. Celestia puts itself as a first module blockchain. And it might have started a long time ago. However, right now, that is a very big trend for modularity and this kind of spread of load in different ways. For example, we have Sui, who divides consensus into different parts for like simple transactions and more complex ones. And there are also blockchains that are just networks of blockchains instead, like Kwai. So Kwai is a network of chains, and it is like a hierarchical network where all of the chains are interoperable. Even Polkadot Substrate Complex is also a modular framework. So there are different approaches to this spread of load. However, Celestia is different from all of them that I mentioned right now. Let's talk a little bit about its architecture. Celestia has three main types of nodes. There are light nodes, those are the clients of the network, the users that transact on it, and they're also making sure that it is secure. I will explain how they do it in the next chapter of Data Something. The second type of nodes is consensus nodes. Those receive the transactions from light nodes and then send them to storage nodes, and the storage nodes store them and they also allow for the light nodes to retrieve any part of the blockchain history. So what can go wrong in here and what issue can arise? For example, the block creator might not publish the full block, and that would mean that not all the transactions are published, however, the block header and the block itself are published. And that would mean that the state of the blockchain is incomplete and therefore the balances are also in whack. So you would be like, uh, you do not know what the actual state of a blockchain is. So this should not happen on a blockchain and it is very bad. So how do you solve this? You have full nodes basically yeah, who store the full information, but they store the information that the block creator gave to them. So the light nodes here, they come in for this checking. The light nodes can request the block from the block creator. However, in this case, the block creator is smart and they would likely send the full block to the light nodes. However, still keep the incomplete block for the full nodes. And the full nodes are the ones that store the history. So they are the ones who are, are providing the full on blockchain and the light nodes do not really have a say in that. So in this case, the light nodes might think that the full nodes are lying to them that they have the incomplete block and instead the block creator was right. However, this is not like correct, right? We all know that the block creator published the incomplete block to the full node and this is uh, like the block creator is being malicious, not the full node. The light nodes kind of mess up the full system of the block producers and full nodes. So what you could, for example, do is just not have the light nodes verify data availability at all and just have the full nodes for that. That, first of all, decreases the number of validators. You can make every light node request every block in full, but then they would just become full nodes, which are more computationally heavy to run than light nodes. So light nodes are called light nodes and light clients for this reason because they are very light and easy to run and therefore more scalable than full nodes and Celestia wants to have the light nodes in its architecture so it has a solution how the light nodes can still verify data availability without downloading every block in full how can you solve this for that Celestia has data sampling method or data availability proofs how does this work Basically, you take the block and you, you increase its block size. Let's say it was 100 megabytes and it became 200 megabytes. So you end up with 100 megabytes of good transaction data and 100 megabytes of redundant data that you use to expand the block size with. Then the light nodes can randomly request random samples of those 200 megabytes. So they do not need to have uh, requested the full block. They only need to request the only part of it to make sure like 99.999% that the full block has been published. You make sure that you check the full block by having multiple light nodes checking with this random sampling, this block. And that is how Celestia scales. The more light nodes they are, the bigger block size they can check. And the bigger the block size, the higher the throughput. And the higher throughput can accommodate the more light nodes that are coming. Let's get to the application level on Celestia. When you launch your own app on it, you do not need to have your own token. And I'm a very big supporter of that because most chains do not require their own token. I would even say 
like even 75% of most blockchains that are currently being created, they do not need to have their own currency. And uh, most of the time they just create the token to have the developers have some money for that, for their creation. And of course the developers should be rewarded and validated for the work that they've done, but sometimes having the native token for their application can even kill it because of the wacky tokenomics or people thinking that it is some kind of rug pull or whatever. So yeah, very good point for Celestia and the users can use just the Celestia native currency to pay for any gas fees for any application that is being built on Celestia. And if you actually do need to have your own native token for your application, you can still have that and the users can use your native currency of the application to pay for the Celestia gas fees because the Celestia nodes will automatically convert the native token of your application into a Celestia native currency. Speaking of native currency of Celestia, the token has not been announced yet and the tokenomics has not been released yet either. However, I do have some information on the funding for you and we had two funding rounds. The Series A, the very recent one, announced on the 18th of October and it collected over $55 million with Bain Capital, Crypto and Polychain in the lead. And um, the previous seed round was for $1.5 million with Binance Labs and Interchain Foundation in the lead. Speaking of Interchain, the CTO of Celestia had previously worked in the Interchain Foundation and he also worked in Tendermint. And the CEO, Mustafa Albasam, is a co-founder of Chainspace. Chainspace was uh, acquired by Facebook, by the way. And uh, among the team, there is also the optimistic rollups creator and some previous Ethereum protocol developers and quite a few others. So quite a big team. I will leave a link to the website where you can see it in full. Right now, Celestia is in its final testnet phase. The testnet is called Mamaki and the good news is that it is incentivized. You can participate by setting up one of the five types of nodes, either a consensus one or the data availability one. Consensus node include full consensus node or a validator node type. And in the data availability, the lightest requirement is for the light node. Then you have bridge nodes and you also have full storage nodes. Check out description with a link to the guides and you are not yet late to participate because the testnet will likely continue into 2023 after which we will have the main net launch. And that was it I wanted to tell you about Celestia. There is not much information about the token yet or any kind of ICO because yeah, I'm not speculating on that until Celestia launches its uh, official announcement on Twitter or Discord. So look out there. Uh, that was it I wanted to tell you. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one.